All right, today we're going to harvest some conifer seeds. We've got a white pine cone and we've got a red spruce cone. Um, gloves are a good idea, especially with the pines. You'll have a lot of sap on those. Um, most videos you'll hear, they'll say, put them in the oven for yada, yada, yada at so many temperatures. Well, these, we're harvesting these to actually plant. So I'm going to forego the oven because, you know, I don't know the effects that that would have on the, uh, germination rate and everything for for the seed so we're just going to do this manual um the white pines i've got you know a few and that's not very many especially figuring on how many um cones i've went through i think we're a little bit late i would have liked to have got these when they were they were closed up a bit more but the white pine it seems to me uh if you start at the bottom and start peeling the uh, the scales down that seems to work the best and you'll end up with a um, like a core I guess well you could see right there that was a seed it's um, it's rotted or, or something but that's where they'll be underneath each of the, the scales you'll just start at the bottom and work your way up pulling them off and you know looking at each one before you tear it off and so on like i said i think we're late on the pines so we'll, we'll not waste any more time with that the spruces look pretty good i've not done any um out of this batch yet but with the spruces i like to just twist them in half and then with these you can actually pop the the scales right up out of the center of it or you can do it um like we did the pine and pull them down and yeah, you, know, you just take your time, go through, look under each scale. The seeds you can see where the the seeds would be. There's a couple little pockets there in the bottom, and um, that's where they are. Of course, there's not going to be one in under every every scale. Um, you know, I guess that's that would be more like a uh, survival technique because you know if if the seeds were under every scale, you know, squirrels and chipmunks and mice would be you know, spending all day long on these and just eating seed after seed after seed easily. So, you know, you may go through a whole cone and flip over five, six hundred scales and end up with maybe a hundred seeds or maybe even less, you know. It's just, uh, you know, it's different from, from one cone to the next and, um, you know, one species to the next. Just take your time, uh, go through and start, and you'll see um, this one here, right there at the, the base of where that uh, pine cone scale, there's where your seeds are. And that's, that's pretty true, I think, of about all conifer species, um, of where the, the location of the, the seed is. But, I mean, it, it does take some time, and what we're going to do is we're going to plant some Christmas trees this year for, you know, several years out, of course. And there's there's two more. And you'll notice, too, that they'll, uh, if you get them fully intact, they almost remind you of a maple seed. All right, if you, uh, if you pull one out of the cone fully intact, You'll notice it, it reminds you of a you know, maple or box out or, or another winged, you know, a, a tree that has a winged seed. And, you know, that's for if the the uh, seed drops while it's still, you know, up in the tree. That'll that'll allow it to get away from the, the parent plant and be able to, to thrive a little bit better. So, um, yeah, that's what they look like if you get the, the perfect aged cones and then... You know, you can actually just take them and flick the seed out. That one, that one rolled down, but right there is where the, the seed was in that little pocket. Alright, after about 20-30 minutes of uh, peeling cones, this is what we ended up with. Um, here's our white pine. You know, like I said, I, I think we were beyond the... The, the best time to harvest those seeds because um, 
I believe I just think we were a little late. We found several more, but they were rotted already, and um, yeah, there's there was a lot of voids that you know the seeds had probably already made their ways out of. So you know it's uh, late December. So if you if you try this, you may want to try to get out there a little earlier than that. The spruces, on the other hand, actually were about right. You know the the wing. Um, segment on those seeds are you know a lot of them were intact so you know it wasn't too late there wasn't rotted uh, they wasn't gone so um, you know we end up with a fair bit of those but I mean what we're what we're shooting for is to to grow a few um, Christmas trees and you know we don't need thousands upon thousands of trees and you know I think it'd be neat just to give this a whirl and try to start them from seed from uh, you know trees that are you know in our area and so we'll we'll do a video later on uh, getting these seeds started and then you know it'll be a couple years down the road we'll have one on uh, Christmas tree pruning but this is what we've got so far I know it's not a ton but you know it's a it's a cold wet winter day didn't have a lot else going on, so at least we got something accomplished today. But if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.